Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I decided to come to you guys today with a small home decor haul because as you may know I recently moved and with my new apartment I've been trying to change my decor around just a little bit so I've purchased a few items and I've decided to share that with you. So starting off right away I want to get started with pillows because that's just kind of the item that I bought the most of. So I'll jump right into the pillows that I bought from the at home store. So right now my living room is pretty much in the middle of being remodeled. Um, at my previous apartment I had these blue and tan, like this teal and tan decor along with my gray couch. And I am kind of like over that. This apartment has gray walls and I thought that it would be really nice to switch the decor to more of a silver, black, white, and gray theme. So I've been slowly but surely replacing my pillows on my couch. So the first pillows that I picked up are these really, really pretty silver tufted pillows. And I bought these from the at-home store and I spent $12.99 each on these. And I don't know if the at-home store is pretty much everywhere, but it's like a, a home decor super warehouse store. And they have a lot of different items you can choose from, like pillows, lamps, some furniture. They have a lot of stuff in there. It's a warehouse, like I said. So they have a lot of things in there that you can choose from. And I found these silver tufty pillows. And I thought they would go really cute with my gray couch and along with another item that I picked out to be one of the focal points of my living room. So that's pretty much all I picked up far as pillows from the at home store and I got two of these silver pillows. The next set of pillows that I purchased came from Ross and they're just these white furry faux fur pillows but they have like black dye on the tips and I purchased two of these pillows. Those are going to go on my couch in my living room. So moving along I purchased another pillow from JCPenney and it's just this white fur faux fur pillow. Um, kind of similar to the ones that I purchased for my couch, but this one I actually placed on my bed in my bedroom, and it's just a plain white faux fur pillow. Also from JCPenney, I purchased this blue beaded pillow, and I used this to go in my bedroom along with the white fur pillow, and it was from the Royal Velvet line that they have, and it's a really nice pillow, really heavy, really sturdy and really detailed with the beading. I thought it was just too pretty to pass up. Because of the bed set that I have on my bed right now, it's a navy blue and white. I thought that this would look really good on my bed along with the bed set. So moving along to the last pillow that I purchased, I have this pillow here and it's like a lime, lime green or neon yellow pillow. And it has some sort of gold like splashes all over it. And I purchased this pillow surprisingly enough from the Goodwill. I only spent $5 on it and it looked brand new when I purchased it. And at the time I had no intentions to use it for anything. But um, later I was able to add this to my bed along with the navy blue and white. And it looked really good. So that pretty much wraps up all of the pillows that I purchased. I'll move along to um, staying in the living room area, some things that I purchased to add into my living room. So this next purchase that I have is something that I'm like the most proud of. I have not bought other items to finish styling this just yet, but this is like an absolutely gorgeous piece that I could not turn down. So I was shopping around in Ross and I ran across these two candle holders. And they're really, really pretty, really detailed. They have um, like a like a shattered glass, shattered glass, silver and black. Still giving it somewhat of a feminine touch, but some masculinity with the colors because me and my husband quite argue enough about me trying to make the living room a little bit too girly or him trying to make it too masculine. So we're trying to meet in the middle and find some sort of medium where it can be somewhat masculine, somewhat feminine, and I thought these were a perfect, perfect touch of some femininity, but it still is not like part, it's not too pink or 
too much of a feminine color, but it has that shattered effect, which gives it some glam, but then the colors give it some masculinity. I can't wait to style these in my living room. Being that they are really small and I have a really huge wall behind me, I have to really take into consideration that I need to find something that is bigger that can go in the middle of these. So I have not yet decided what I should put in the middle, whether it's a mirror or maybe some sort of art or some type of metal work. I'm not really sure what I want to do with that. So if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave that down below. Now, since we're on the topic of my living room and currently the item that I have next to show is in my living room. It's not necessarily where I purchased it to be, but that's where it's sitting now. I might as well move right along and show you this next item. So this is the next item that I purchased. It's like a little coral color pineapple and it's just the fixture or a figurine that you could possibly sit like on a bookshelf or on your countertop in the kitchen maybe, bathroom, just pretty much wherever. Naturally because it's a pineapple, I would think, you know, somebody may want to sit this in their kitchen. And I, I tried that at first, but I did not like it in my kitchen. So right now, I just have this sitting around still trying to figure out where I want to put it. This was purchased from the at-home store. I want to say it was about $14.99, $15 or so. And I just thought that it was really cute, a really nice pop of color that you can add to any room that may be already a solid color palette like how I'm doing my living room where it's going to be black white and silver is such a dull color palette this may be a really nice pop of color to have sitting in my living room and then on top of that the thing that I like the most about this pineapple was that it has a light inside and it's a really small yellow light in there. I can't, I'm not really sure if you guys can tell that it's lighting up. So if you were to cut off all of the lights in your room, this pineapple, you could just flip the switch on and it'll give the room a little bit of a dim ambiance. So while we're on the topic of items that don't really have a place, another purchase that I made and I don't necessarily know what I want to do with it is this canvas art right here. It's very small. It's a small piece of canvas art and it says so in love with you and it's wrote in like a floral print but then it's on a tan canvas. So it was only about three dollars at my local Marshalls and I was not necessarily sure what I wanted to do with this but it was too cheap to pass up so I just went ahead and purchased this and I just kind of have it laying around and I'm trying to find a home for it now. So as far as my kitchen go, I have one item that I've purchased so far for my kitchen. Everything else that's in there pretty much I've had for a long time or I've had in my previous apartment. But this apartment, I'm getting used to the storage because like I have said before, it's a lot smaller than what I did, the apartment I did live in in Memphis. So I've been trying to buy very logical things as far as storage and to make my life easier. And I was in home goods and I found this over the cabinet storage for your um, cabinets in the kitchen. So this is really cute and it's really, really helpful, by the way. And it's just like a little brown brass colored uh, shelf that you can hang over your cabinet. And I use this to place like my sponges and my towels and things like that when I'm washing dishes because I don't really like to leave much, much on my countertop. So this is the perfect solution for you to have something to put under the cabinet and you can put sponges and towels on here and they don't have to sit on the cabinet. Moving along to my last two items and my last two items I purchased are mainly for my bathroom. And here's another, yet another, TJ Maxx or Marshalls Home Goods purchase. That's one of my favorite home decor stores to shop at. And I love TJ Maxx Home Goods Marshalls. Like, I love those stores. I will go in there and I will walk around for hours just window shopping. Like, I don't even have to purchase anything. I could just walk around all day. And I'll be perfectly happy with that. So with that being said, my next purchase that I purchased is mainly for my bathroom. Um, I have like a gray and white thing going on in my bathroom. 
and now the way it's shaped I needed two rugs for my restroom before I had carpet in my bathroom like around the vanity and the counter and then over by the shower it was the only little patch of like the faux hardwood to where you would need a rug so now here in my new apartment I needed two rugs basically so I purchased a bigger rug from TJ Maxx and this was only $10 yeah, $9.99, $10. And it's just a big shaggy, furry rug like this. And I don't know the dimensions of it. 21 by 34. So it's a 21 by 34 rug. And I just placed this in front of my vanity and my sink where I could step onto these in the morning instead of stepping onto the cold floors. So the last and final item that I'm going to share with you is also something that I purchased for my bathroom and guess what? Guess where it's from? You guessed it. My favorite store. I bought this faux like what is this called? It's just greenery. It's like a grass plant or something and I bought this to go in my bathroom along with the grays and the whites. I thought that this would give a nice pop of green. Some greenery in a room will change up everything. Like I have this plant right here behind me that was sitting on the floor, which I probably will still move to the floor because eventually I will need to buy a lamp for over here in this room. But right now I just have it sitting on this table. My husband actually put it there. And I thought that was a really good place for it. It looks really nice right there. But nine times out of ten, I will be moving it and putting it somewhere else in my, my living room. Um, and putting a lamp there. But just my point being, a pop of green to any room can make everything look that much better. So that pretty much wraps up my home decor haul. If you guys have been liking my videos so far, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I love shopping for my home and I don't mind sharing the items that I find with you. So if you like these type of videos, make sure to comment down below and let me know that these are the type of videos that you like to see. And I'll make sure to constantly bring these to you. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.